Hey, what's up guys? It's Steve again, and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown episode 12. We have gotten to episode 12 already, and we are back with the RU team. As you can see, I've got my team builder open right now, and I have made one alteration. I've dropped Bronzong, and I've added the Metagross. Why? I feel like Metagross has a lot of bulk as well as you can see we are fully invested in special defense and HP but because Metagross is naturally so bulky on the physical side we do not have to invest any physical defense to still have a good defensive physical defense and then without investment in attack we are still putting out 306 in attack that is without investment without element or uh, beneficial attack physical attack in nature so we uh, kind of kept the same moves as well stealth rock which we had a bronzong said headbutt which, which we had and then gyro ball has been swapped for meteor bash of course and then we've added home gloss to potentially have a uh, when we have the opportunity to potentially set up we can set up Okay, so let's try and get into a battle right now. Okay guys, we are back. We have found ourselves a opponent and he's rocking with the uh, following team. The Gudra, Rotom Mo, Mega Banet, Fortress, Lapras and Houndoom. So he likely needs Fortress to set up rocks or spikes. Could lead the Rotom to Volt Switch out. I'm just going to lead off my Metagross. And just set up rocks as well if he's uh, if he leads fortress if he leads rotom that i can get off a hit he could lead his mega to get the mega off always a possibility let's see what he uh what he chooses as his lead option so adding metagross is uh pretty fast it's not like i was dis dissatisfied with bronzone but I feel like Metagross almost does the same job defensively, but can also pressure offensively. The only thing that we have now dropped is the potential uh, Toxic on my defensive pivot. Because Bronzong of course had Toxic on his set, but I've decided to add Home Claws to Metagross to potentially set up a bit more offensive then, of course. It boosts his attack and his accuracy, so both the moves I am running, they uh, are both 90% accurate, so getting... Wow, that still does so much, dude. Why does that do so much? That's crazy. Gonna go out to Mega Sceptile. He stealth rocks, of course. I'm gonna Dragon Breath. He stays in, let's para, we get the para, which is great, he rapid spins, I'm gonna focus blast, hit this thing, he's gonna get fully paralyzed, is he gonna stay in? Yep, and he lets me kill him, so I basically take out his stealth rocker and rapid spinner, so if I can get my rocks back up, that would be great. Rocks, of course, are not too pleasant for uh, Lapras and Houndoom, so let's see what we can do. He freeze dries, expecting me apparently to go out into Blastoise for he doesn't have any offensive, any different offensive ice type move. He could just run freeze dry. I did that when I had Lapras on my team as well. Uh, what does this thing want to do? To be honest, I'm gonna go out to Umbreon. Takes a rock damage. He nasty blots, which is not great. Good to taunt. <laughs> he taunts me, so I can't taunt him back. Is he Z Solar Beam? He nasty plots again, so... Oh, he can't be Z. So he's gonna have to kill me with Dark Pulse. And he's not gonna kill me, and... 
we are gonna kill him. That was scary, to be honest. That was really scary. So we've knocked out his uh, his houndoom. So he brings in the bonnet. What does this thing want to do? Potentially willow, toxic, knockoff. I'm just gonna go out to Umbreon, see what he wants to do. He clicks Sucker Punch. Not sure what you were uh, fishing for there, to be honest. You were always going to outspeed me. 273 wants Blastoise. Oh, okay, so max speed Blastoise would outspeed Bennett. So he was fearing max speed to Blastoise, which is very uncommon, of course. He's thinking about this play. To be honest, if he has Willow and he uh, uses it, he's gonna get synchronized burn as well, which is going to seriously uh, hamper this thing. I'm gonna uh, taunt this thing, I'm gonna wish. I don't think how do and Bennett are uh, both rocking out with the uh, taunt. So he brings in the uh, Lapras. So I'm not sure what this thing wants to do. So I'm just gonna foul play it, get some uh, HP back. That's fine to be honest. I'm just gonna wish up again. He's gonna freeze dry. I mean, that does absolutely nothing. I'm not sure what he's trying to do here. I'm gonna go on to Metagross. He's gonna freeze dry again. That's gonna do nothing again. I just get the click Meteor Bash. If he wants to stay in, I'll break his sub. He's not gonna do too much damage to me. I get the attack boost as well. So now he is in a bit of a pickle. I think I'm just gonna home claw and uh, just finish off this battle. So now we're plus two with the accuracy as well. I'm just gonna home claw again. Future Sight is gonna take it in effect, which does absolutely nothing. And now I'm sitting here at plus three and with accuracy boosted, so my uh my moves are 100% by now because <laughs> I've boosted my accuracy twice. I'm just gonna Meteor Bash, he's gonna outspeed me. So fast Gudra. And I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get another attack boost. If he is smart, he brings in the uh No, he just goes out to Rotom. To be honest, is it worth even uh I don't think it's even worth trying to save Metagross because he's got a ghost type on the other side. So he goes out with the T-Bolt. I think this thing might be Specs or Scarf, so if he is, he's got uh, a big problem. I'm just gonna D-Pulse. I think I've got this game wrapped up. This thing is gonna die, and then the Rotom is gonna come back in, which is absolutely defenseless, of course, against Sceptile. He forfeit, so I'm not going to be able to uh, finish the game, but that was a well-played first game. And it did showcase the use of uh, Metagross. So we straight off the bat find ourselves a new opponent with Umbreon, Sableye, Golbat, Pukunuku, Espeon, and probably Mega Blastoise. Likely leads are Espeon, could be... Blastoise as well to get off the Mega. I don't see potential hazards. Does Goldblatt get Toxic Spikes? I don't think it does. I'm gonna lead off with Umbreon. He leads off with the Sableye. I'm going to talk this thing. He's gonna talk me, but that is not going to work because Prankster from the latest generation does not work on Dark types. I'm gonna foul play this thing, he's gonna knock off, he's gonna get the... Uh... I'm just gonna keep foul playing this thing. 
I mean, I'm taking 25% off of him, and he's basically doing nothing. I'm just gonna foul play again, get a crit, not that it matters because it's a 4 hit KO. So the taunt has ended. He's gonna recover, okay. So I can taunt him again. Of course, Prankster does work in this way. I'm gonna go... Do I risk it with the Blastoise? I mean, I'm gonna lose my... Uh... I'm going to lose my... Lefties eventually then. And I don't wanna risk that. Okay, so he switches out to the Blastoise. So I could've got Blastoise and that would've been a perfectly fine uh, play. This thing potentially wants to uh, Aurosphere if he has it. I'm just gonna switch out Heart into Blastoise, see what he wants to do. The Aurospheres, he does show the Aurosphere. And now I just wanna get my Toxic off and hope he doesn't go out into Golbat or Espeon. Could be bad. He goes out into Pukumuku, which is fine, because I really want to Toxic that thing. I'm going to go out into Umbreon and uh, Taunt. He Toxics. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to Taunt this thing first, and then I'm going to Heal Bell. So he's got a very bulky team. He goes back out into Mega Blastoise. So I can't really uh, heal Bell right now. I'm gonna go out into Yamega, expecting the Aura Sphere, he deep pulses, which is not great for me. I'm gonna have the U-turn because I'm not gonna live another one and I'm not gonna kill. Is he gonna go for the Ice Beam or is he gonna go for the Dark Pulse again? He Dark Pulses, which does 38%. He knows I want to uh, potentially Toxic. So I'm hoping he switches out. That he doesn't want me Toxicing his Blastoise. He goes out to Espeon. So that's great. Can we get a burn? We do not get the burn. He could be carrying Dazzling Gleam, but Metagross absolutely checks this thing in place. He could have Shadow Ball, potentially. Could have Shadow Ball, he goes out to Umbreon, so he makes the proper prediction. He could uh, now, of course, Wish or a uh, Heal Bell. I'm just gonna set up rocks right now. That could force the Golbat in. Okay, so we get rocks up, which is great. I'm just gonna go out to Umbreon. This thing really invites. Uh, I'm be on it, and I'm just gonna click Heal Bell if he wants to go hard Blastoise like he does, which is fine because we get to heal the poison off. I'm just gonna go into Starlight right now. He rapid spins to get the rocks away, which is fine. I'm gonna click Body Slam. He could Aura Sphere, but I don't think that that is going to kill because it didn't kill Umbreon earlier in the battle. He goes out to save line, so that's a good play because that doesn't affect me. I'm just gonna go out to Umbreon. If he wants the Willow, he's gonna get synchronized burns himself. He switch, he doubles out into Umbreon. I'm just gonna wish. He heal bells, okay. So he's probably running around the same set as me. I'm gonna taunt this thing. So does he wanna switch out into Blastoise? Probably. I'm gonna give uh, myself the opportunity to get another wish up. Oh, oh, didn't wanna click heal bell. I wanted to switch into Blastoise and get my Blastoise wished up. The Hydro Pumps, which does even less, to be honest. 
and I'm just gonna click stalled here again trying to force it out he's gonna go back Espeon I'm gonna click stalled again and get the burn on this thing which is great because that will negate his uh, lefties I'm just gonna click scald again he's gonna morning sun fine I don't think this thing really has anything for me so there is no reason for me to not click scald again I'm gonna get the burn on this thing as well he's gonna synchronize that into me yeah he is going to click heal bell right now which is going to give me the opportunity to go out into a uh, mega septile get my mega off and maybe start denting something i'm gonna dragon breath he stays in and he protects so he doesn't really have much so heal bell wish protect and then probably foul play you would think or dark pulse So I'm just gonna click Dragon Breath again, to be honest. He's gonna stay in. He's gonna wish. Who's he wishing up? Or who does he does he wanna wish up? Espeon? Goes out to Pukumuku. We already know that this thing wants to click Toxic. I'm just gonna go out to Blastoise. If he Toxics, that's not gonna work. That's gonna fail. I'm gonna click toxic, I mean it's free, okay, fine, fine. He could make the heart switch into Umbreon right now to uh, He does not, he stays in and he knocks off, okay, so that's great. I'm gonna click taunt. He switches out to Umbreon, so this thing is absolutely useless right now because it can't taunt. So he's gonna switch out. I'm gonna wish. This could be a very long battle. Very long. Okay, so he only has six heal bells left, we have seven. He goes out to Gold Bat, okay. So we haven't seen this thing do anything. So we can't really go out to your Mega right now. We can definitely go out into Metagross. He taunts. Which is fine. I'm just gonna click Meteor Mash. He's gonna switch out, of course. Probably into Sableye? Into Metagross. We missed the Meteor Mash, okay. That's a bit stupid, but we haven't seen an offensive move on this thing yet. Okay, so he does have an offensive move, so he has far play. So we've seen that now. So if he wants to far play again, we can just go out to Umbreon. He's gonna wish. Who does he want to go out into this time? To be honest, I think he just stays in. He's gonna heal bell, so the poison gets cured off Sableye. To be honest, that's fine. I mean, I'm just gonna stall him out if he wants to play that game. This could be a uh, over 100 turn game if it goes on like this, but I still have 7 out of 8. Wishes are the same. And heal bells, I'm 1 up, so just keep statusing these things. Okay, he wants to go out into Blastoise again. I think I'm gonna go out into uh, Mega Septile because he doesn't have Ice Beam. He doesn't have Ice Beam. So I can start threatening with Mega Septile here. Wow, that does absolutely massive damage, but we get the. Uh... I'm gonna Giga Drain. This time, he goes back out into Umbreon. That doesn't do enough. I'm gonna Focus Blast. I haven't shown Focus Blast. But he has Protect, that's the problem. He's gonna Foul Play, that's gonna give me a huge opening right now. 
So I don't think he's gonna stay in. He's gonna protect. I'm gonna Dragon Pulse. So he knows that now. And now I think I'm gonna Focus Blast. And hope he wishes. He stays in. I'm not gonna kill. That's so brutal. Of course he is going to protect right now. So I think I'm gonna go out into my Unreal myself. I just wish. We went out into um, Septile the last time. And what did he hit us with? Gonna quickly check that out. So he Aura Sphered us for 60%. So we can't really go out to Septile safely this time. He could play Dark Pulse this time. Do we go out to Yamega or do we not risk that? I think I'm gonna go out into Snorlax. He Aura Spheres again, which pops my Thingy Berry, so that's not really ideal. I think I'm gonna Earthquake. He Aura Spheres again. So I could have body slammed this thing. I'm gonna recycle. He crits me! Sorry if you hear my dog barking in the back. I'm gonna go out to Mega Sceptile. He's probably gonna switch out. If I had to guess, who does he switch out into? Unreal? I'm just gonna Giga Drain, not gonna over predict. He goes out to Golbat, good play. Could have Dragon Breath. Uh, we haven't seen that much of this thing, so I'm just gonna go into a, uh, out into my Blastoise and Great Boots. Okay, so that's great. Good prediction. I think I'm just gonna Ice Beam this time. Maybe this thing stays in. He taunts, so let's see how much we can do. That only does 32%. <laughs> My goodness. That only does what. Why would you taunt? You're a poison type. So I'm gonna click Scald. Okay, so he boosts. So I'm just gonna fish for a burn then, I think. So Taunt, Brave Bird and Roost. We've seen a lot of this thing. We get a burn, so hopefully he'll, he will uh, click Heal Bell again. He could just wish again. I'm just gonna go out to my own Umbreon and start wishing up as well. He's gonna wish, but who doesn't want to wish pass into? Himself, I guess. I'm just gonna click wish as well. He heal bells. Okay, so basically what he is doing is he is wasting heal bells. I mean, a burn on your Umbreon is not that important. We need to try and capitalize on that. We definitely need to uh, capitalize on that. So he wants to potentially foul play. I'm gonna go out the Omega. That's not gonna do anything. That still does a chunk. And we are sitting at a really decent position now. What's the switching for this thing? I'm gonna click Air Slash. So foul play did almost 30% to be honest. How? Why does that do so much dude? Why does that do so much? We're gonna crit this thing. To be honest, if he willows me, not that big of a deal. He's gonna recover. And we're gonna kill. So Sableye is out the gate. So that's pretty nice because that's his knockoff user and he's gonna not be able to willow me. So that's a big kill. 
that Puke Muku is not a threat because I can just click a uh, taunt with Umbreon and that thing is not going to be able to do anything. So here it comes. I think I'm just going to U-turn out into Umbreon. If he wants to synchronize the Toxic onto himself, then that is great. Back to him. So that is great. I'm going to click Taunt on this thing. If he wants to stay in, I don't think he's going to stay in. He's going to go out to Umbreon. I'm going to Taunt him. So that's great. And now I'm going to... I think I'm going to Wish first. Okay, I'm going to Wish. He's going to go out to... Uh, Go Golbat is probably gonna click Taunt right now, if I had to guess. That's gonna give me my opportunity to get into Metagross, he's gonna actually Brave Bird. Okay. So he is going to switch out, but he doesn't have the Sableye anymore, so I can just freely start to... Oh no, he still has the Umbreon. So I think I'm just gonna start Meteor Mashing. Or does he Taunt? Does he Taunt? Probably? He could taunt. Yep, he taunts. I'm gonna go for the Meteor Bash. That does not enough. And I'm gonna click Zen Headbutt now. He roosts, so I'm gonna get a super effective move off on this thing. Take a big chunk out. He could just roost again. He does. I'm just gonna fish for the burn then. Uh, the boost then. We are not taunted anymore. Does he taunt again? Or does he roost? He taunts. Okay. No problem. I'm gonna click Sand Headbutt again. He switches out to Umbreon this time. So good play. Um, I think I'm just gonna go out to Umbreon myself. He wishes. Fine. I'm gonna heal well. He's gonna go out into Blastoise. Not gonna risk it. So his Blastoise is back to full. I'm gonna go out into my own Blastoise, or is that not safe? Probably not that safe. Is it safe to go out into Sceptile? Not sure. What does he go for? He Dark Pulses? That does 55%. I'm gonna give you Drain. Probably goes Golbat. But I have to... Uh, I can't risk not getting... Uh, he's gonna kill me. Okay, so he is going to pick up the kill here. But I can probably revenge kill with the Omega. Is he gonna switch out? He probably is going to switch out, if I had to guess. I'm gonna Bug Boss. That's gonna be super effective damage on this Umbreon as well. So he's probably going to uh, Wish Protect now. So I think I have to try and flinch him. He's gonna Protect. So I'm gonna try and flinch him. If we flinch him, the Umbreon is dead. Flinch? Yes. How much was Bug Boss doing? It was doing 51%. So he is probably going to... Um, he's gonna click Protect again. Yep. So he is probably gonna get his Wish back. Which is unfortunate. How much are we doing with air slash 20%? So we need another flinch. He, he is not gonna get the flinch. He is going to get the protect. No. I'm gonna air slash again in case he does want to go on to Blastoise. He's gonna protect. That was to be expected. I'm gonna click um Bug Boss. I'm not gonna let him go out into Blastoise with a wish if he thinks that. He's gonna play the same game again. He's gonna go out to Golbat, which is fine. I'm just gonna U-turn out. 
he could brave bird, he could taunt. I'm just gonna go back out to the Metagross. He still has four heal bells, so we need to try and force another heal bell on him. I mean, Metagross probably kills the Espeon, and he probably 1v1s the Crobat. Once the Umbreon is gone, of course. So I'm just gonna go back out into Metagross. The Brave Burst, that's gonna do absolutely nothing. I'm gonna Meteor Mash. He taunts, okay, so I'm gonna try and fish for that boost. That Meteor Mash boost. I'm just gonna keep clicking Meteor Mash at this point. If he wants to go out to Umbreon, he goes out to Espeon. This thing gets bodied. We do not get the burn. If we had, um, he could have Shadow Ball, but he hasn't. He didn't go for it the last time, so I don't think he's gonna go for it this time. And we are so bulky that we are not gonna get killed by that. He's just gonna. He's just playing the odds, and there is the boost. There is the boost. He's he's got a big problem right now. I'm gonna hold claws. I think this might be this might be the turn where we start to uh, put in the work. I'm gonna meteor mash again. I'm gonna try and flinch him. I'm gonna try and flinch him with a Zen headbutt. That does only 24%. So I think I'm just gonna keep on bone clawing. Counter is gonna fail. He's just getting toxic like a a Pukumuku does, and I'm gonna click Home Claws again. I'm gonna click Stealth Rocks to be honest. He counters. This might be the turning point. So he's gonna die anyway. I'm gonna Home Claws again. He goes out to Mega Blastoise. So if I had, uh, I don't think he's gonna kill me with a Dark Pulse. Nope. He is gonna flinch me! He is gonna flinch me! Oh my god, that is such... That is such BS, mate! Oh my god, that is such BS. If I had Bullet Punch, we would be fine, but we don't. I have to switch out. He Dark Pulses takes 35%. We need a low roll right now. We definitely need a low roll. He dark pulses and he kills. So I can go out to Yamega and just bug boss. We need to keep our Metagross healthy, so I think I'm gonna have to try and get a wish into Metagross. He's gonna go out to Combat. Brave Bird will kill me. But I think I have to go for the Air Slash and potentially get the flinch. We get the flinch, which is great. He did get a flinch as well with the Blastoise. Never ending story, he says. To be honest, he's not going to be able to get up a... Uh... He's not going to be able to get a um, a wish off. I'm pressuring him so much at the moment. His Golbat dies on entry, his Blastoise dies on entry. I'm gonna kill. He, he was uh, texting me something. You can see that on screen, of course. He's saying that I'll uh, that I'm gonna win, and we did go over 100 turns. And he forfeits now. Wow, that is very poor from this guy. That is really poor from this guy. So he wants to play the long game, and then when he eventually gets outplayed, he forfeits. That's kind of sad, to be honest, because I really, I mean, that took 
over 100 turns, but I eventually found my find my uh, my breakthrough. I had my rock up. I had the Pukebuku, which basically allowed me to get into uh, the game and start breaking some things. I broke the uh, Blastoise and the Golbat down. The Espion was sitting low and the Pukebuku was toxic. The Umbreon was dead by now because I just killed it. And now this guy forfeits. So that's a bit of a, um, a anti-climax at the end of this battle because that was a really thrilling game. It was a slow game, of course, it was a very slow game, but we could all we both saw it at the start that this was going to be a slow game and I was not going to uh, go out offensively against a defensively slow player and then just get uh, destroyed. I had to, of course, utilize my Umbreon with the Wish, the Heal Bell, the Toxics from Blastoise. I mean, we just didn't have enough to uh, make the kills, but when I did saw the opportunity, Metagross did put in the work again. Two games in a row, Metagross is showcasing why I put him on the team. So guys, with that, we are going to wrap this game or this uh, episode up. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this game, what you think about Metagross in general, what you think about Metagross on this team. Is it the right set? Do we need to go more offensive? To be honest, I don't think we need to go more offensive. If you see that game right here, I mean, you perfectly see what this Metagross is capable of. I mean, he is capable of tanking hits and tanking hits, setting up rocks, and then eventually, when a uh, opportunity presents itself, like the Pukebuku situation, I can just start hope falling, or we can get a plus one from the um, Meteor Mash. It has a 10% chance to increase your attack by one stage, so we did get that opportunity eventually, and then we just started setting up, and those rocks were very important as well. So, with that all being said, again, we are going to wrap this video up, and I will see you in episode 13 already, guys, so I'll see you there. Bye!